Bolden's got five. Look at Goodson push it up. Wide open, Bolden. He'll tee up a three. Ray comes up with a good looking ball. Retrieval, but he stepped out of bounds. He stepped out of bounds down low. And is this pass by Mendez Valdez? Well, what you want to watch is his little herky jerky dribble right there. Switches hand, changes speeds, and finds Evans on the inside. Here he comes around the screen. <laughs> you know, he gives the fake like he's going to shoot it while he's still dribbling. He gives a head fake. You know, he really shouldn't go for the head fake while the guy's still dribbling the ball with him. Five and a half to play. Switch on defense, slaughtered. Up three on him. Obviously, Kevin, they've got the score to hang in the game. They've been able to make shots at critical times, and this probably is the most critical time of the game. They're shooting 51%. And there's Valdez inside to Evans. Rebound by Micah Downs. That's his seventh. Here comes Cargo. How about that on a busted play with no one around? He took it himself. He has just put one down to give Gonzaga their biggest lead tonight. He jumped up in the air to pass, realized that nobody was there, got himself turned in the air, and scored. Slaughter with a three, fouled by Gray. He'll go to the line for three free throws. Gray picks up his second personal foul for Gonzaga. Gonzaga in transition is very good, and Pargo jumped up in the air, got himself turned, and knocked it down. He's got 15 in the game. Bolden has 20 in the game. So the backcourt for Gonzaga really producing. Valdez, uh, Mendez, Valdez, and Swatter have combined for 30. Nine points. 39, Western Kentucky 67. But keep in mind that Mendez Valdez has 19 of those, and he scored 17 of them in the first nine minutes of the game. So even though he's done a nice job distributing here, passing the ball in the second half, he has been really held down on the offensive end, and I think that has hurt Western Kentucky. He has got to find a way to get himself some shots. Good adjustment by Mark Fugue. Absolutely. The coach. Water is fouling Bolden is at a very solid game. This has Gray. Karush on him. Now Karush on the defensive switch will be on Pargo. Screen. Now they put Pettigrew on Pargo. He'll slice his way inside. Pettigrew comes up with the rebound. He's got five. Mendez Valdez takes the three. Pettigrew with the drive. And the two defenders, it was deflected. And here comes Gray on a two-on-one to Pargo. To the trailing towns! Oh, rejected inside by Jeremy Evans. And that is a Western Kentucky foul. Evans picks up his second. And 4.02 to play. They can get out on the break. An excellent passing. Micah Downs doing a great job running, trailing the break. You know, if he stands at half court, that never happens. So what you want your guys to do is run right at the basket. Micah Downs averages nine points and four rebounds. He's got 11 and seven today. He's had a very solid game. Free throw shooting of the Gonzaga Bulldogs. 12 of 16. 5 of 13 free throw shooting for Western Kentucky. Downs has really been a matchup problem for Western he Kentucky has. today. And I think that's been a critical factor in this ball game. A little shove after that as Carouche is climbing the ladder and going for that loose ball. And that'll well, be a shooting foul. Yeah, Bolden has his second. You're right. And the walk to the other end. Be a one and one. But I think it's Karush at the line. And so it's a good news, bad news situation for Western Kentucky. They get to go to the line. But if it's Karush, he's only one for six. Western Kentucky has taken 13 free throws. And Gonzaga has taken 16. But Gonzaga is plus seven points at the free throw line. Now Evans is a much better free throw shooter, so break for Western, but he's the guy going to the line. Wow. Under four to play. Five of 14 free throw shooting for the Hilltoppers. You got to dig in and get a defensive stop now. Your whole season's come down to whether or not you can get a stop. Heidfeld, Bolden, in on Mendez, Valdez, the ball knocked away, another block shot. That's the fifth by Jeremy Evans. Slaughter, Carouche for three. 
through Pettigrew's hands and reeled in by Heitfeld and three and a half to play. All right, you got to stop if you're Western Kentucky, but you didn't convert, so you put pressure on yourself. Now you've got to get another one. Timeout, Gonzaga. Mark Few wants to set his team right now. They're up by six and 3.20 to play in Portland. Shooting percentage from three and from the overall viewpoint, the assists and the leading scores. Well, the three-point shooting, as you can see there, Kevin, has been absolutely outstanding. Unfortunately for Western Kentucky, they have not been able to match that from the free throw line. I felt down Bolden, Targo, and Gray, the Gonzaga five on the floor. Swatters out there, Mendez down there, Pettigrew, Evans, and Caruso. Targo right down the middle, lifting his way through, count it, and a power! A terrific play by Jeremy Pargo. That's why Mark Few called the timeout. He wanted to put the ball in Pargo's hands. Excellent concept, very well executed. Slaughter picks up his fourth foul. And the foul situation for the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky. Now trailed by eight, 310 to play. Gonzaga trailed by a point with 11 minutes to go. They've outscored Western Kentucky 18 to 9 since, and the fast break game has been terrific for Gonzaga, 12 to nothing over Western Kentucky in the second half. And the other thing that's been great for Gonzaga is their ability to defend Orlando Mendez Valdez. He made six of his first eight shots in the first nine minutes of the game. He has only had two shot attempts since then, but only made one of them. Slaughter over Pargo for three. Gonzaga goes to the zone. Try to keep the ball out of the lane, make Western Kentucky shoot from the outside and to run some time off the clock. Switch on defense over Height Felix Mendez. Valdez who puts in another triple. He's got two starting guards have accounted for 44 of Western Kentucky's 72 points. Now you don't have to foul and you don't necessarily need a turnover, but you've got to get a stop and get the rebound. You still have enough time left in the game. It's only a six-pointer. Argo. Bolden, Carouge is on Bolden. Heitfeld is picked up by Pettigrew. That's a foul and a basket. Send him to the line. What a, what a nice job by Gonzaga. Now Mendez Valdez is able to get loose here. The screen not well defended that time. Heitfeld doesn't get out quickly enough. But on the other end, Heidfeld, the side is cleared for him. He does a nice job over the smaller Pettigrew and scores a very important basket on the inside. Pettigrew picks up his fourth personal foul. Heidfeld at the free throw line is three of four. He's got 10 points, six rebounds. Western Kentucky. Had that terrific win the other night over the Big Ten, fighting Illini of Illinois by four, 76 to 72. Taking out the fourth seed of Bulldogs of Gonzaga here this afternoon, the drive by Slaughter over Craig. Uh, the man against the man to man, but you can't trade points now.